The Seek Compact is a smartphone accessory that will convert your phone into a thermal imaging camera. Before this and the FLIR 1 came on the market, the only way you could get access to technology like this was if you were willing to spend well over a thousand dollars. It's thanks to gadgets like this that you can now own a thermal imaging device for just two or three hundred bucks. On their packaging they call this the Thermal or the Thermal XR, depending on which version you buy. But on their website they now seem to have renamed the product as the Compact or the Compact XR, so I'm going to call it the Compact as well. Last year's original Compact had a 36 degree field of view and a fixed focal length. That made it useful for indoor use or relatively close up subjects, but anything farther than about 30 feet or so became an unrecognisable blob. So earlier this year, Seek released an alternative version called the Compact XR, which stands for Extended Range. The Compact XR has the same electronics as the standard version, but it comes with an adjustable focus ring and a more magnified lens, roughly twice the magnification of the standard Compact. With the magnified view and the adjustable focus, the Compact XR allowed you to see and focus on subjects at a distance that the standard Compact just couldn't do. But it also has a much narrower field of view, just 20 degrees, compared to the standard Compact's 36 degrees. As a result, the Compact XR is a bit less satisfying to use indoors and harder to view closer range moving subjects because you just can't fit as much in the frame. For indoor use, the original Compact was the better pick because of its lower magnification and a wider field of view. But one of the complaints people had for it was the lack of adjustable focus. Anything far away or closer than a couple of feet was out of focus. That made it fairly useless for close-up work like checking electronic circuits for faults or taking macro shots for example. Well, it looks like Seek pay close attention to its customers' feedback because they just released an updated version of the original Compact and this time they've added an adjustable focus ring. They also listened to the criticism that the focus ring on the Compact XR was too loose. So in this version they've made the focus ring much smoother and much stiffer. So here it is. It has a very solid and well-made magnesium alloy body, a 206 by 156 resolution thermal sensor, a 36 degree field of view and a temperature range of minus 40 to plus 626 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes with this really nice waterproof protective case and that black moulding there seems to be a piece of solid silicone which is supposed to protect the camera from drops. This is the Compact side by side with the Compact XR. As you can see the only difference is that the XR has a bigger lens to give you that magnified view. You can tell it's the new Compact on the left because of that nice rubberized focus wheel that wasn't on the original Compact. The main advantage that the iOS version Compact has over the Android one is that the camera can be connected either facing towards you or facing away from you. So you can take those all important thermal selfies. Now if you own an iPhone 6 you'll almost certainly have it in a case because it's just so slippery. So depending on the case you might find it difficult to securely connect the Compact. I have quite a slim case made by Rinky, but I still had to sand the bottom of mine down about a millimetre or so in order to let the camera click in securely. To use the Compact you just download the free app from the App Store, plug in the camera, press Alloy and you're up and running in about 2 seconds. The first thing you'll notice apart from that you're now living your childhood dream of being the predator is that weird clicking sound you get. Don't worry, you haven't broken it. That clicking sound is a tiny mechanical shutter that flips up over the sensor every few seconds so that the camera can calibrate itself. It makes this clicking sound along with freezing the image for about half a second or so every two to five seconds, depending on how long you've had it on and what's in the scene. This is my only real criticism of this camera. I'd like to see Seek improve this in future versions. I got used to the quiet click, but the image freezing so often really starts to get annoying after a while. 
This shows you the difference in magnification between the Compact and the Compact XR. And remember, the main selling point that the XR had over the standard Compact, apart from the magnified view, was that adjustable focus. Now that the standard Compact can be focused, I can imagine less people opting for the XR with its narrower field of view. And even with its adjustable focus, that super zoomed in image made it all but impossible for super close up work, even though it was very useful for farther away subjects. The new standard compact having a wider field of view, less magnified image and an adjustable focus means you can really get close to the subject now. In my tests I was able to get within an inch of my subjects and keep things in focus. The Seek Compact is a really interesting device and it lets you see the world in a way that you've probably never seen it before. This is my cat, who happens to be one of the laziest cats in the world. This is my dog. And this is the thermal imprint left behind where she was sleeping just a few minutes ago. In my experience, the black and white color palette tends to give more detail, but there are quite a few options to choose from within the app. Some are more useful for others in certain environments too. There's a temperature readout option, although in my tests I found the reading to be around 10 degrees lower than they should be. There's also a temperature threshold option, where you can set it to colorize temperatures above or below a certain number, but I didn't really find it that useful in practice. I did find plenty of things really interesting though, like seeing just how much heat comes off a naked flame. or playing with x-ray vision with some types of materials, like this plastic bag. Another interesting experiment is to see how much heat is left behind on objects after you touch them, or the heat generated by machines, and for how long some materials can hold that heat. You can see just how hot your car gets after a short journey. Apart from the fun experiments you can do with this, for me the single most useful aspect of owning a thermal imaging device is for my dog. I'm sure most of the dog owners out there can relate to this. It's night time, it's dark, you've gone out to let your dog do its business in the garden and you realise you don't have a turd bag with you. You run inside to get a turd bag and by the time you get back out you've missed that crucial moment and you have no idea where it is. You walk around with a flashlight for 5 minutes, but it's no use. No matter what, you're definitely going to step in that turd tomorrow. Well, with thermal vision those days are gone. Look how easy it is to track down that missing poo. I find the app to be very easy to use and offer quite a lot of functionality. However, in my experience it tends to crash and completely exit every so often when I've been using the device for more than a few minutes. Hopefully they can fix that with a future update. Something I wish the Seek Compact offered through its app was the ability to adjust the sensitivity manually wherever needed. If you look at this clip, you can see that in some circumstances, the image is quite washed out or overexposed. And when I put my hand in the frame, the image gets better because it has more contrast and the subjects I'm interested in stand out more. I think it would be nice if Seek implemented a future version of the app where the user could adjust that sensitivity. In my view, this latest iteration of the Compact, now coming with adjustable focus, makes it a much better and much more useful device than its predecessor, especially for close-up work. When I ordered it, I assumed it was just the same fixed focus version as before, because there's no mention of an update on Amazon or Seek's website or anywhere else that I could find. I'm surprised Seek aren't making a big song and dance about this new feature, because even though it's a relatively small change, it makes a huge difference to its usefulness and the quality of the images you can capture with it. Overall, I really like the Seek Compact, and considering that it puts thermal vision in your hand for less than $300, it's really a very cool and useful little gadget. It's early days for this kind of low-cost, consumer-grade thermal technology, and things will only continue to get better over the next few years as the technology improves and the cost of ownership declines.